Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Railroad Tycoon 3 campaign Let's Play scenario video. Uh, this time it is the second European campaign scenario. It is called The Flying Scotsman, and it takes place uh, in the United Kingdom. And it is starting in 1840. And, as the name implies, it's the Flying Scotsman, and it says the Flying Scotsman leaving from platform number 10 King's Cross to Edinburgh, all aboard. Daily departures at 10 a.m. since June 1862. During its reign, it was the peak of British engineering style and efficiency. At least that's the way things turned out. However, there was nothing certain about this route when it was first made. Your job is to make a legend in the railway industry. The Queen has entrusted you to make this railway a reality. That is, of course, Queen Victoria. You must connect the industrial centre of Scotland to the centre of the British Empire's industrial might with a railway that will set a standard of operations that will be the envy of the rest of the world. Uh, so, like the real Flying Scotsman, we've got to connect London to Edinburgh by 1865, um, or technically by the end of 1865, so it's more like by 1866. Um, so we get, yeah, about 25, 26 years. Not a long time, but it's not a very difficult scenario, this one, to be honest. Uh, that's for bronze. Silver also had to maintain an average lifetime locomotive speed of 12 miles an hour or faster, which is not very fast, but then again it is only in the 1840s, where locomotives themselves are not very fast. But still, it's not terribly difficult. Gold, all of the above, and be in charge of the only railway by the end of 1865. Uh, I believe there are two AI, and it says the special conditions we can only start one company apiece in this scenario. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, ourselves, which is George Hudson, we've got Isambar Kingdom Brunel, which is quite appropriate for the time. We've also got Sir John Forrest, who I'm pretty sure is not appropriate for the time. Yeah, Premier of Western Australia in 1905. Slight not accurate. Um, but anyway. Uh, so we don't actually have to start in London or Edinburgh. If we were going to start in one or the other, it would make a lot more sense to start in London, simply because it's a lot flatter terrain and there's um, a lot more cities available nearby, and um, you know you can link up with Portsmouth, Brighton, though it's not very big, Guildford, which actually has a brewery, um, or you could go north of the Thames to places like Ipswich, Cambridge, Northampton, Birmingham. Um, I think. The best strategy, though, is actually just connect Liverpool, which actually has a port, uh, to Manchester. And then you can go south to Birmingham. That's basically how I play British-related scenarios. Um, my objective for this scenario, actually, is to try and connect every city on the map. Which I realise is not technically possible, because we won't get suspension bridges until 1895, meaning that the cities in Ireland um, won't be connected to the rest of Britain, um, but we can connect, you know, Belfast, Dundalk, Dublin and Wexford together, even if they're not necessarily connected to London. So we can connect every city, just not every city to every other city, if that makes sense. Good thing we can build unconnected track, and uh, yeah, the map isn't actually very big, I mean, it's reasonably sized, there are lots of cities, um, but they're all very close together and, you know, it's not a terribly difficult scenario. And without further ado, uh, let's create a railway. Uh, let's pick a logo. We are going to be the Liverpool Manchester Railway, which did exist uh, certainly in the 1830s. I don't know if it existed. Um, uh, I don't know how long it existed for, but it was. Um, it wasn't the first railway, I think that was Stockton and Darlington, but the sort of, it was the railway with like Stevenson's Rocket, the Planet, the Lion, uh, possibly Firefly. Um, I need to pick a appropriate logo, which uh, might be easier said than done, to be quite honest. Actually, what was that one? No, I don't like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be like British Metrolink or British like National Rail or something, but 
Oh, it doesn't look very good. That looks pretty awful. That looks kind of okay. Um, sorry this isn't the most thrilling, it's just at the moment I'm literally picking out a uh, logo for my company that literally doesn't matter. Um, might just go with one of the default ones here. Yeah, let's just go with that. Right, so we are the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. We start with 1.1 million, or, yep, I was going to say or thereabouts. But in actuality, we do start with 1.1 million. We don't actually care about net worth except to buy out the other companies. And the simplest way to do that is just basically make sure they don't do very well. And the simplest way to do that is to make sure they can't expand very far. Uh, we could also obviously buy shares in their company, but otherwise we don't care about personal net worth. So we can just issue stock. And uh, Liverpool can have a large station that actually covers the whole town or city. That's really nice. Manchester can have a large station as well that also covers the, large, the entire city. And we can connect Manchester with Liverpool, unfortunately. I say unfortunately simply because Manchester and Liverpool don't really like each other. So yeah, that is Manchester connected to Liverpool. That is only apparently five miles. I mean, that's quite clearly longer than five miles. It's 42 miles. Um, and obviously we're going to need maintenance and service. And we can get a... Ah, we can get Planet, we can get Samson, we can get Dorchester, and we can get Adela. Uh, the Dorchester is actually... Pretty really good on hills. It's better even than Samson. Um, yeah, the Dorchester actually might be kind of overpowered, to be quite honest. Because comparing it with like the planet, it's basically better in every way. The Adler is. The Adler has a higher top speed, but it's twice the price of the Dorchester for the same cost of maintenance, and it's got worse acceleration, and it doesn't have the same pulling power or hill or hill power. But saying that, we are dealing with just flat land, uh, so we can basically just go with an Adler. We've got some passengers, some mail, some lumber, some coal, some cotton, and some coal. Um, I don't think steel ever actually becomes an becomes a cargo on this map, although there is coal and there is iron, and maybe in like the 1850s or 1860s if you play a scenario that long, um, maybe you start to get steel, but I don't think you do. In the same way, I don't think... Well, we'll, we'll see what cargoes become available. It is only 1840, so there's only a limited number of cargoes, which is why there's only uh, 20 different types, including passengers and mail. Um, we can also connect down over to Birmingham. Uh, we will need a bond for that. Um, right, mind the hill, if possible. Get something like that going. And it's a good thing I can build unconnected track and trains and stations and everything. Also, being the 1840s, we're probably going to get a lot of passengers, and um, therefore we want to build things like hotels and taverns and stuff. What is going on there? I don't like that. Yeah, maximum of 2% gradient is yeah, absolutely fine. So we can get a uh, train going between Birmingham and Manchester. Possibly, and then maybe like Birmingham and Liverpool. I don't know. Let's do both. So we've got... Right, so we've got a train going from Liverpool to Manchester, a train going from Birmingham to Liverpool, and then we need Manchester to Birmingham. That's hauling nothing but a tiny little bit of clothing. Oh well. Right, let's uh, unpause the game and wait to see what happens.
Look at the Dublin. Look at the Dublin. It's actually pretty big, although annoyingly, um, there's a big hill in the way. Right, so we've got the first AI, which is the Bath Northern, which connects Bath and Gloucester. Um, Bath's actually quite sizable. Gloucester's also reasonably sized. How possible that would be overall, though, I don't know. And right, so straight away the Firefly has become available. The Firefly has decent hill power, very high top speed. Um, it is expensive, but it's still actually comparatively cheap. You know, it's only 70,000. New Zealand, an official British colony. The leaders of the Maori have agreed to British rule. Weapon prices drop 10% and hostilities end. Well, that's all well and good, but weapons aren't a cargo on this map, so I highly doubt that's going to have any consequence at all. Uh, we could actually connect to, like, Northampton as well. So maybe let's do that. If I get a large station, I can cover that green farm as well. Or we go north and do the dairy farm. No, let's let's do the green farm, okay. Or do I just go to the medium station? How much, tr how much will it cost to actually build the track? Yeah, maybe just go to the medium station. If I do that, I might have I might be able to upgrade to a large. If I do that, I probably can't because the houses are probably in the way. So let's do that for now. And then Northampton really doesn't have a lot going for it at the moment. Yeah, there's not a lot of cargo in Northampton. Still, we can get an Adler, I suppose, going from Northampton to Birmingham. Oh, it's actually delivering nothing. Okay, well, let's get rid of that train then. Um, so connecting to Northampton might have been a complete waste of time. Middlesbrough has offered $400,000 bonus to the first railroad to connect to Bloody hell, I don't think I've ever seen $400,000. I've seen 300,000, I don't think I've ever seen 400,000. Oh great, there's going to be an AI starting in Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough to Newcastle, that's probably quite a good route to be honest. If we can get a bond going next year, then I might take a bond out and just connect Middlesbrough to Newcastle. Someone please with the performance. Right, let's do that. So. Middlesbrough via large station. And then Newcastle via medium station does actually cover the whole city. I hope I've got enough money anyway. Should do. have a tiny bit of 2% gradient, but that's no issue, I suppose. Yep, that's fine. So 2% gradient. And there you go, I get, four, um, get um, 400,000 for my efforts of connecting Newcastle to Middlesbrough. Ooh, I was hoping that wouldn't create a bit of a gradient, and it hasn't, so that's good. Always got to be careful when you build maintenance facilities. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously I can build on connected track, so that's no problem. I'm surprised you haven't got the second AI going at the moment. Although. This purchasing power's a bit low, so maybe that's why. Um, yeah, there's not really much we can deliver between Newcastle and Middlesbrough. I'm just wondering if I have enough money. I 
mean, I almost certainly don't, but how much would it be to connect the leads as well? I actually almost have enough. Obviously I don't have enough to build a station, but... Yeah, if I can get another... I mean, I meet a small station, you know, obviously isn't big enough, but if I can get 200,000... I have no idea if I should put dining cars on these trains. Growing prosperity, that's nice. I think this scenario is one of those that has a very slow start, but then once you get going, you really get going and you can make a lot of money. Well, they're saying that, I say it's a slow start, we're still making like 400,000 a year. And it's only year two. I actually almost have enough money there. It's quite annoying. Yeah, as soon as I can get 200,000, I'll build a large station in Leeds. And also, connecting to Hull would be very useful as well. And then obviously I want to connect Manchester up with Leeds. And then that'll be like a sort of northern uh, line going from Northampton, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Newcastle. Can I get away? I'm just wondering if I can get away with a medium station. No, it really doesn't have to be large, does it? Yeah, it needs to be large. Okay. Not to worry. Very pleased with your performance. 15,000 salary. Very nice. Right, let's take out one bond right now. And maintenance and service. Right. So Middlesbrough to Leeds. Seems to be a fair bit of stuff we can deliver. What about leads to... Hmm. I'm actually going to take out another bond and try and connect Manchester to Leeds. Hopefully I can do it without a tunnel and, ha and also without having a ridiculous gradient. Because obviously if I just do that then it's like a sort of 4 or 5% gradient, that's not really what I want. But if I do it carefully, I might be able to avoid a ridiculous gradient. So, this is definitely doable. I've done it before, but it's about getting the root right and the angle right. It's not easy. But hey, a lot of uh, the challenge of this game is about just routing track to make sure you don't get ridiculous gradients. Think of it a bit like a puzzle, you know? I mean, that's not too bad. It's like a 3% gradient with a bit of a 4% gradient up there. I can probably flatten out with some post offices or something. I mean, as okay as that is, I've kind of wanted a track. I'm kind of wondering if I can't just build a track going out of here directly. And I'd have this come down like this. It's a bit long-winded, actually. How does this, how does this work? No, that doesn't work. Okay. So, new plan is basically... We build a terminus, or a junction out of here. And then we build track going like... This. Ooh, that's a bit 
wobbly. Still don't like that four percent gradient. Right, I did have I did have something really good originally. That was just like sort of three percent gradient. Okay. That's that's all right. Yeah, there you go. Right, so that's a uh, one percent gradient up there. Then a bit of a three percent. Tiny, tiny bit of four percent. I can live with that. So it's mostly three percent from Manchester to Leeds, with a maintenance and service about halfway. That's fine. That's brilliant. Right. Quite a lot of passengers want to go between Leeds and Manchester, and also Leeds and uh, Liverpool. So let's actually maybe get Firefly between Manchester to Leeds. That's three loads of coal, it is, isn't it? Yes, that is seven loads of cargo, that's fine. And then, did I get a train going from Leeds? No, I didn't. Okay. Not to worry. We can do Leeds to Middlesbrough, or Middlesbrough to Manchester, maybe? Leeds to Middlesbrough, and then Middlesbrough to Manchester, or something. Let's do Middlesbrough to Manchester, actually. That seems more profitable. Wow, yeah, lots of passengers. And what about Newcastle? Newcastle to Manchester would be quite alright, but that's quite a long way, actually. So we'll hold off for now. I think I will actually upgrade this to a firefly. Famine! Crop failures across Europe plunge Europe into chaos. Food prices soar at 50% as demand skyrockets. I wonder if this is actually the Irish potato famine. I don't know exactly when that was, but it would be about this time period. But anyway, uh, yeah, food prices up 50%, although admittedly, I don't know how much we are actually um, delivering food, because it would be just basically like grain... I don't think there's corn in this map. Milk, I suppose. Livestock. Um, and meat. The famine in Europe has made shipping of food items quite profitable. Yeah, for all of the 30 seconds that the prof price has increased. It has been suggested that lowering your price on shipping food items could increase public support of your railway. Lower by 25%, lower by 50%. No, we can't afford it. Right. Um, seeing as it's the 1840s, there are going to be absolutely loads of passengers, and I don't know how much money we actually make by shipping food anyway. Um, so I'm just going to lower it by 50%, because this basically means that you get the most amount of passengers. Assuming this isn't bugged and it doesn't work as I intend it to, then lowering it by 50% massively increases the amount of passengers you get. Uh, lower by 50%. And also, despite the fact there's a famine, we've got economic boom. Don't question how that works. Hunger causes mass emigration, railway swans, passenger traffic of 75%. That's very good. Liverpool and Manchester offers aid to famine to on Europe. George Hudson, chairman of Liverpool and Manchester, has drawn the favourable attention of the Crown after announcing 50% lower shipping costs for food items. Does this mean that the food items increased by 50%, so they're like sort of one and a half times their normal price, and then we lower them by 50%, so is that they're back to the normal price, or are they back to, like, 75%? Because if you increase something by 50%, then they lower it by 50%. That's the equivalent of a decrease of 25% overall. Which, to be fair, is still not actually that bad. That just means that we're only getting 75% income. I don't think this other AI is going to create a company, by the way, because they haven't done it already. Why would they do it now? Leeds Zephyr, going from Manchester to Leeds. And this train's going from Middlesbrough to Manchester. Probably gonna get, I was going to say, probably going to get decent speed on that one as well. 
I forgot to actually start, so we can just do that right now. Right, let's um, take out another bond and connect to Hull, or Kingston upon Hull as it's known in this game. Uh, I kind of want a horizontal station, but it uh, doesn't seem doable. So yeah, let's go with a vertical one like that. way to avoid a bit of a gradient there. I didn't realise the gradient would be an issue. I can, I can live with a bit of 2%, but uh, yes, that's no problem. Alright, and then maintenance and service, and we can get a train going from Hull to Leeds with dining car Probably be an idea now to start thinking about, um, yeah, hotel and stuff. Why are there so many passengers in Liverpool? Where do they want to go? Oh, actually, what's in Northampton that I can deliver now? It's still not a great deal, but we could do uh, Northampton to Birmingham and Northampton to Manchester. Still delivering nothing. All right, that's seventy thousand just wasted. Oh well. So, like I said, I do want to connect to every city on the map, but um, next city I want to connect to is probably Cambridge, which I suppose I could probably just do right now. Switch if we've got enough. That works. Just about afford some Adlers. Let's do Cambridge to. Birmingham. And then it switch to it switch to Cambridge, maybe? Now I've got no money. Oh well. I want to upgrade this train as well. I think basically now all sort of really profitable trains should be just fireflies. Just all trains in general should really be fireflies now. And we're making big money thanks to the economic boom, and also just the fact there's so many passengers. Loads of passengers in Middlesbrough. Right, let's make. Um, let's actually pause the game. Hotel, post office in basically every city. We can do restaurants and taverns later on as well. I don't put it too close to the station in case I want to upgrade it, but I can't actually upgrade it anyway because there's houses and stuff in the way. Yeah, we can do um, post offices, restaurants, sorry, restaurants and taverns later on. Just want to get uh, hotel and post office right now in all of my cities possible. 
Well, certainly all the main ones. Can't do Northampton, Cambridge, and Ipswich just yet. Stock split three for one. That's really good going. We did make an absolute fortune last year. Yeah, 1.3 million profit. Um, oh, for silver we need lifetime average train speed of 12 miles an hour. Current average speed is 10 miles an hour. That will increase um, once we get trains going longer routes without stopping, you know. Um, going from somewhere like Liverpool to Manchester, obviously it's quite short distance, so it's probably spending a lot of time actually in the station. Whereas somewhere like Manchester to Birmingham would be longer without stopping, it takes more, it gets more time to accelerate. And also obviously we had the... Um, We did have the uh, the Adler for quite a while, whereas the Firefly is noticeably faster. I can't issue stock, but I can take out some bonds, and we may as well actually connect up with London. I've just noticed that the Bath and Gloucester line is just connected up to Oxford. Um, and to be fair to the AI, there's actually some decent track. To give them credit, just take out a whole load of bonds. Um, so, yeah, let's actually connect this AI track via Oxford, but with our main line. And there you go, we've now got um, essentially a connection to Oxford. What's in Oxford, I don't know, but that doesn't matter right now. Um, do have a train in, yeah, got a train going to Cambridge and Ipswich, that's fine. Uh, Oxford, it's only a small station, which is kind of annoying. But then again, the AI might use the track, um, and then we get money from that. Uh, we do want the station in London, if possible, one that covers the whole city, which might amazingly be doable. I think it one that's vaguely vertical. Or is that not possible? Is that asking for too much? That might be asking for too much. Okay, well let's just build a station like that. And amazingly, it actually covers almost all of the city of London. Despite the fact it is pretty damn big, as one would expect. Uh, we are going to build a stone station though, because this, this bridge, a stone bridge, this bridge is going to get a lot of traffic, obviously. I suppose this bridge is literally London Bridge. Um, hmm. That's nice and flat round there. That's good. Um, righty ho, and then connect that up with the main line here. And it might actually be another idea to have another bridge going out like this. There you go. Right, so we've got trains that can go from, like, to Lon from London to Cambridge and Ipswich via this bridge, but then this bridge, it's more like... It's more sort of direct to places like Birmingham and Manchester. It's a bit weird, I know, but um, it kind of works. And then we can build next to service over there. Probably not necessarily because there is one over there, there's also one over there, but hey-ho. Um, and I'll build one over here while I'm at it. So London is now essentially connected to Oxford, Cambridge, Ipswich, Northampton, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, Kingston upon Hull, Middlesbrough and Newcastle. And bearing in mind we only actually have to get to Edinburgh for bronze. So you can see that, yeah, this is not really a very difficult scenario. Um, but anyway. London to all these lovely places will be quite profitable indeed. 
Let's get a Firefly going from London to Birmingham. Probably with a dining car. Yep, lots of lovely passengers. Whoops. And London to... Uh, London to Ipswich, I suppose. Fair few passengers, also quite a lot of alcohol. Yeah, let's put a dining car on it anyway. Liverpool Zephyr, which is a train that goes... Oh, from Liverpool to Manchester. Yeah, I should broke the speed record. That's nice. Uh, we are going to want a hotel and a post office in London, mind you. There we go. Yes, yeah, so a London to Birmingham train is going to make an absolute fortune on these passengers. I could probably actually afford to get rid of some of these nasty bonds, like this 12% one. And then replace it with... Oh, it's only a 10%. Meh, I'll we'll just do it anyway. There we go. Still can't actually stop. No, I can. Right. Um. So next station we want to connect, or next city we want to connect to is probably Guildford and then Portsmouth. So let's do that right now. Portsmouth can be connected by a one bar station, that's very nice. Uh, that's if I can actually build out the Portsmouth. There we go. Avoid the gradients. And we can connect up to Brighton. Get the gradient there. Unavoidable. Doesn't matter too much, it's just nicer if we don't have a gradient. Brighton's now connected to Portsmouth and avoid a bit of a hill there. Is that hill completely unavoidable? Really? Yeah, that'll do. A bit of, like, 3% gradient, but it's okay overall. We can deal with 3% gradient. Probably should have actually built the maintenance and service more like over here, but... Oh well, it'll do. It's fine. Um, right, so Portsmouth. Obviously we want um, post office and hotel. And also, actually, when I get the money in, we can start building restaurants and taverns. Brighton as well. Brighton Hotel, Brighton Post Office. So Brighton has a lot of passengers that want to go to London. So let's get a Portsmouth to London train with dining car and then Brighton to London train. Brilliant. Yeah, there's just so many passengers right now. Thurso has offered a $300,000 bonus, the first railroad to connect to it. Well, fortunately, Thurso is right at the tip of Scotland. Could be a while before we connect there, and there's only two houses there, so, um, yeah, I don't really have much going for it, unfortunately. I did issue a stop, so I can't do that again. Oh! Um, they're actually connected to Guildford. How much is it to actually buy them out? Yeah. I want to do it sooner rather than later, so they don't become so profitable I can't afford them. Just buy a thousand shares in them, why not? I mean, I could actually probably just do it now. And also, I suppose if they... Um, 
if they run out of places to expand, then that kind of limits their uh, capability to grow as a company and limits their profits, thereby making them a lot easier to buy out. But yeah, let's do Guildford to London with buying car. Brilliant. Yeah, so all locomotives now are fireflies. We're making huge profits. Like I said, it's not a difficult scenario. Obviously, the economic prosperity, I was about to say boom then, uh, is helping a lot. I think we've connected most major cities. There's still Exeter and... I suppose... Preston, actually. There's only a few houses. Carlisle actually has a brewery, yeah. And obviously we want to connect to Edinburgh for the objective, and also because it's quite a big city. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I do want to connect to every city on the map, which is, you know, not difficult. Stock's about to split again. Three for one. I don't know why it's three for one, because it's $50 now, and it was $111 when I commented, so I'm not complaining, it's just a bit odd. Um, we're getting big, big profit, uh, big salary increase. We made four million last year, that's absolutely insane. We can get some 8% loans, so let's do that. Let's go with the 10%. Check out some 7% loans. Even get rid of the nine percent. To be honest, may as well. Yep, there you go. Well, I can't issue stock just yet. Okay, let's connect to Dorchester, seeing as it has a paper mill. And also, it's another city at the end of the day. Uh, probably want to build something like this, actually. That's it. Yeah, there you go. And then Dorchester, economy slowing to normal, that's fine. Dorchester to, well, both Plymouth and, um, well, Portsmouth and Brighton actually, so let's just do Dorchester to Portsmouth. Do I have a Portsmouth to Brighton train? I can't remember if I did or not. Portsmouth to London. London to Brighton. No, I don't have Portsmouth to uh, Brighton, so let's do that. Yeah, there's just so many passengers, it's insane. London has 44 loads of express and 37 loads of passengers. I did do London to Cambridge and London to Ipswich, though, didn't I? I did London to Ipswich, did I not do London to Cambridge? No, I don't think I did actually, so let's do London to Cambridge. Yeah, this, this, uh two bridge idea is probably quite a good idea because you've got southbound trains from London going to Guildford, Brighton, Portsmouth and maybe even Dorchester um, and then you've got trains that can go from London to Oxford and it just it alleviates traffic by doing it like this. I could just buy this company right up now 
Um, if I connect back, or like connect this this bit of track to that, that would be a good idea because then I can get trains going to Bath. And Bath is actually quite sizable. I just wish the AI was sensible and built normal sized stations that covered the whole city, but they don't. Anyway, let's start building restaurants and taverns in places that we haven't already got them in. Because uh, that generates more money. I don't know if it actually generates more express, but it generates more money from express, which, let's face it, is our main source of income at this point. Leeds has grown and no longer can be covered by one whole large station, but oh well, that's uh, no problem, not a massive concern. I'm tempted to buy this textile mill. Yeah, go on then, let's buy it. That brewery is not really worth buying right now. Actually, that might not be the smartest idea, because if I wanted to build track going south... Mind you, there's not really anything here from Hull, because if... In reality, you'd have, like, Lincoln and Grimsby over here, but they're obviously not on the map. Because the real Flying Scotsman went on the East Coast Main Line, and it kind of went London... I think it goes to Peterborough, which is probably about here, and then it goes sort of up to, like, Lincoln... And then I think it, do, it does possibly goes to Hull, and it sort of goes along here, then like York would be around here as well. And obviously York is an important city, but it's not on the map. A very important railroad city as well. Yeah, I mean obviously you can't have every city in the game, but I um, don't really know why they didn't include York or Lincoln. Anyway, let's get, uh, growing prosperity. Let's get, uh, Bath to Portsmouth. If I didn't do that already, I don't think I did. I can't remember now. No, I didn't. Uh, I was going to want a dining car. And then Bath to London. Bearing in mind, I can't use the AI track, but that's fine. Well, we can use the AI track, obviously. It's just, um,. You know, more expensive if we do that. For a moment, I forgot this was our track. I thought this was my track. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is just limiting the places that the AI can go to. Um, and also, actually, I can connect up their track via Gloucester, up with my track to Birmingham. Northampton, I suppose. There we go. And then I can get a train go from Gloucester to... I don't know what that was about. Did I build another maintenance? Did I build a service station somewhere? In the middle of nowhere? I don't think so. But yeah, we can do Gloucester to Birmingham with Firefly. Hopefully that'll be... Yep. I think anywhere to anywhere at this point is probably going to be profitable with lots of passengers. So if we look at the other stations as well, Liverpool, we still need a uh, restaurant tavern. Manchester needs a restaurant and a tavern. Birmingham, restaurant and tavern. Northampton needs all four, although we're going to make that a large station, actually. Uh, I don't think I have a Northampton to London train. Pretty sure I don't. 
Northampton to Birmingham, yeah, but I don't think I've got any other Northampton trains. No, Northampton to London, so let's do that. There's actually not many passengers on that train, but... Uh, yeah, we'll put down a car line anyway. Northampton to London. And then Middlesbrough has everything. Newcastle has everything. Leeds has everything. Hull has everything. Ipswich has nothing, so that needs everything. Can I make that into a large station? No, I can't, because there's houses in the way. But as it, as it stands, it is actually probably okay. Um, let's do Ipswich to Birmingham, that's Northampton, so Ipswich to Birmingham, and then um, Cambridge needs everything as well. I don't know if I've got Cambridge to Birmingham, but if I don't, then we'll get one, and if I do, then we'll have a duplicate, so... Um, London has everything, Portsmouth needs a restaurant and tavern. Brighton... needs a restaurant and tavern. That's fine, and then Dorchester needs everything. And then the AI cities of Bath has everything. Gloucester needs everything. Oxford. I wish they'd built a better station, but. Uh... That's fine. Uh, Gloucester, yep. Bath has everything, and then that is... Oh, Guildford as well. Yeah, Guildford needs everything. And there you go! So obviously there are still loads of cities to connect to. Um, I'm just going to need to actually buy out the other company. But, uh... Everything's looking fine. You get a salary increase as well. So we now have a 10% stake in their company. It's not a lot, but uh, it'll help. Another boom time. I swear the economy has basically just gone normal. Prosperity, boom. Prosperity, boom. Prosperity. Like. <laughs> I don't think it's actually been normal since the game started. Which is, you know, really good, but now that I say that, we're probably going to get a uh, recession in a bit. I'm actually going to save the game. Uh, Flying Scotsman. I'm going to type. Flying Scotsman LP Hard. Right. Um. Yeah, you can see a lifetime average train speed is 13 miles an hour. I think my record for gold on this map is about 7 years, which, to be honest, uh, if I just connect up to Edinburgh now, take out a couple of bonds, and buy out the other company, I could probably actually just get gold now. That's how simple this scenario is. I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying I probably could just do that right now. Because the other company could buy out 1.6 million. A couple of bonds, plus the cash that we've got already, connect to Edinburgh, done. I could literally get gold in five and a half years, when it starts to generate in quarter. Why can't I build track out of Middlesbrough? Why is that blocked somewhere? I don't know, that's very annoying. Oh, that's not Middlesbrough, that's Newcastle. It just plays that sound even if there's nothing to delete. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's doing. Is it... it's not like... 
I was thinking, is it like a bit of water or something? But there's nothing there, so I don't know why I can't just build tra why I can't just build track out of Newcastle like that. Oh well, so I have to do something like this instead. Very silly, but uh... oh well. Onwards to Edinburgh, I suppose. Oops, not like. Well, actually, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, you see, I'd like to build along the coast there, where it's dead flat, but unfortunately, the game has other ideas. It's also quite dark. I was trying to increase the brightness there, but uh, alas, I already have brighter nights turned on, so I can't make it brighter. Oh well. Ooh, this is... Uh, how do I want to do this, actually? Alright, let's build a station over here. Yeah, unfortunately I want to build a station right there, and it's not doable. I can build a station there, but that doesn't quite cover the whole city. But I might have to just make do with that anyway. Unless... I can build some post offices or something, and just them around. And then get rid of them all. And then build a station like that. I can't believe that actually works. <laughs> that, is, that is very dumb. Now, however, I still need to actually build the track from Edinburgh out. And then towards here. But yeah, that does work. A uh, bit of 4% gradient, but that's no big deal. And we can build maintenance here and here. Yep, that works. That's good. Huzzah! London and Edinburgh connect. Liverpool and Manchester connects the two industry giants. Brilliant. And while we're at it, we'll also build hotel, post office, restaurant, tavern. Oops. Slightly affected the gradient there, but nothing major. Because that fixes it anyway. Then get rid of that. Right, so, Edinburgh to Newcastle and Middlesbrough, let's do Edinburgh to Middlesbrough first. We're not going to get a train actually running all the way from, uh, wow, that's insanely profitable, pulling meat. We're not going to get a train going directly from Edinburgh to London, because that's just simply too far um, for this game. And then... Newcastle to Edinburgh. I can have a dining car. And this train can have a dining car, I suppose. But yeah, 732,000 that's going to make. And now that we're actually in um, Scotland, we can start building connections to places like Glasgow, Eyre, and Inverness, and all the other places in Scotland. The beauty has become available. How does this compare to the Firefly? It's better on hills, less average, or less um, top speed. It's cheaper to buy and cheaper to maintain. It's got better fuel economy, better reliability. So it could actually be worthwhile doing a couple of buths in more hilly areas, like around Scotland, and then save the Firefly for the flatter areas. So it's almost perfect timing that the uh, youth became available there and there. Just as I connected um, Edinburgh to London. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, so it's... Um, Christ, I can't think. 15% share in their company. It's actually more than the uh, Sir John Forest. Oh! It's Brunel that hasn't founded a company. He's not going to. But he, he's actually got a big personal net worth. His personal net worth is almost as big as mine, simply because he has 18,000 shares in my company. You bastard. <laughs> I mean, I don't care, but... Um, 
Yes, yeah, so it's interesting. Brunel has no shares in this company. And I've got more shares than the actual chairman of this company. Okay. I mean, all I have to do now, basically, to get gold is just uh, buy out the AI company. And that would be gold in like five and a half years. And I could literally do that right now. I'm not going to, but I'm just saying I could. Uh, right, let's connect up to Glasgow. Possibly not going to be as easy as I say, or easy as I make it out to be. Oh no, that works. Right. Tiny bit of like 5% gradient coming out of Edinburgh, but it's not a massive problem. Uh, how's that uh, textile mill that I bought doing? Very nice. Very nice. Two and a half million, that was a good investment. Damn, that's expensive, but it's also very profitable. Uh, we can connect up to Preston as well while we're at it. Do it via medium station like that. Do Preston to Manchester via Firefly. There we go. Actually, if we do Hull to Manchester and Hull to Middlesbrough, that would probably be a good idea as well. So, Hull to Middlesbrough, I don't think I did that already. And Hull to Manchester. Ooh, lots of logs, so that's actually not put a dining car on that. It's funny how my share price just keeps going up and up and up, and theirs just keeps going down and down. Yeah, their company is not successful or profitable, so they don't have anywhere to expand anyway, but even if they had the money, they wouldn't. Uh, let's connect up to Canterbury, which is just a medium station. Canterbury doesn't really have a lot going for it at the moment. Although we can do Canterbury to London via Firefly. And I haven't forgotten about Glasgow. Uh, so we can get Glasgow to Edinburgh. That can be abuse, because uh, actually, well, I guess it could be a Firefly. The gradient's a bit steeper in places. Yeah, let's make it abuse, I suppose. Let's go to Edinburgh. I mean, the view is still pretty quick. It's just not as quick as the Firefly. And then I want to do Edinburgh to Dundee, and I also want to do Glasgow to Air, but that might not be trivial with these hills. Let's go to there. How does that work? That works. Yep, there you go. 
And then uh, Dumfries and Carlisle. Actually, Carlisle would just simply connect either via Preston, mind you, is a long way there, and there's also a lot of hills. Carlisle to Newcastle should be easy enough, though. Damn, the game's still dark. I wish it would become not night time anymore. It should become. We should become uh, daytime in game soon enough. What's that 3% gradient there? There we go. Um, ooh, there you go. Manchester Zephyr. I don't know where that train goes, but with an average speed of 33 miles an hour. Oh, wow. Yes, the Manchester's Birmingham train that I built basically at the start of the game and then upgraded to a Zephyr. Oh. Firefly, not a Zephyr. Uh, this train hasn't set a speed record yet, which is a bit uh, unfortunate, but uh, oh well, still time. But an average speed of 33 miles an hour, that's pretty ridiculous. My current average speed is 13 miles an hour for all trains uh, in the game since we started. Which is still, you know, it's good enough for silver, or good enough for gold, I suppose. But, um, it would be good to get it higher. I think we get the Crampton in 1852, and I think that might be slightly faster than the Firefly. Right, let's do Air to Glasgow. Is that going to need to be a Buth? No, actually that can be a Firefly, because that's actually fairly flat. So, Air to Glasgow. Good. Don't need to do air to Edinburgh as well. Um, Carlisle, I don't think I've built a train. No, I didn't. So Carlisle is going to need hotel, post office, restaurant, tavern. And then we can do Carlisle to Middlesbrough via Firefly. Yeah, because that's fairly flat. Okay. Carlisle to Millsboro. There you go. Um, and then I guess we can do Carlisle to Dumfries. Although Dumfries isn't exactly very big. So Dumfries to mm, actually Dumfries to Air would be good if we could do that, but it's quite a long way and there's a big hill in the way. The easiest way to just be to tunnel through, but uh, that's expensive. But obviously we can afford it. But then obviously, how do you actually get out the tunnel? So I think this is a bit silly. Um, let's instead just whoops. Let's instead just um, Dumfries to Middlesbrough, and that can be yeah, that can be a firefly. It's a um, um, bit of a gradient there. Can I flatten that out at all? No, oh, I should have made that worse. Right, so that can be a firefly. I love that you can just flatten terrain like that. I mean, it's a very useful feature if it's kind of unrealistic. And it's also probably one that not a lot of players might necessarily know about. Right, let's try and connect Edinburgh to Dundee, or maybe even like Glasgow to Dundee, but let's just try and connect up to Dundee. Preferably before the year ends, but uh, it doesn't matter if it goes into January, I suppose.
Now, finding a way round through here is not going to be easy. Kind of a bit of a maze. But that works nonetheless. There you go. So that is Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Dundee all connected up. And Dundee's actually quite sizable in this game. With a decent gradient, so I can probably get away with just using the Firefly there. And Dundee is going to need hotels and post offices and stuff. Speaking of which, how much are these things making? So the most profitable hotels are making big money. Hotels, taverns, restaurants, small profits, and then obviously uh, post offices make minus a thousand each year. This tavern in Newcastle is actually barely making money, but then again, well, I don't know. If you look at our total income statement for industry profits, yeah, it's not it's not bad. Although a lot of that. Yeah, about half of that comes from the textile mill. So basically, we're only really making about sort of 350 to 400,000 a year from these hotels and stuff. But that is not bad. And they probably actually generate more passengers, I think. Anyway, let's do uh, Dundee to Glasgow and Dundee to Edinburgh. Uh, can they both be fireflies? Yeah, the gradient's fine. Alright, Dundee, Glasgow. Probably doesn't need a um, dining car on that one. Don't need to Edinburgh though, does need a dining car. Stock split two for one. Very nice. Got another thousand shares in their company. It's good that their share, that their stock hasn't split two for one at all, because it's still just 20,000 shares in the company. Meanwhile, you've got 616,000 shares in our company. Can't use this stock. I can take out some 5% bonds, actually, although I could actually probably just get rid of all these bonds. And then have no bonds, and then that's fine. <laughs> I don't need bonds anymore, really. I'm going to save the game. Okay, um, I mean, I could always take out bonds if I absolutely need money, and now would be the time to do it when it's 5%. So, Dundee to Aberdeen seems like a fairly straightforward connection, which is nice. Uh, and then there's basically no reason to build the track over here unless we want to get to Inverness, which we do. Yeah, actually, that's not going to be easy. Because one option would be to go from like Dundee to Inverness via all this mountain hill area. The other option is to actually go from Aberdeen to Inverness, which is probably fairly flat, but um, it's a long way. Or, we try and connect up to Fort William, and then Fort William to Inverness is dead straightforward, we just go through here. There's a nice flat bit over there. But getting to Fort William itself isn't going to be easy either. Okay, but anyway, Dundee to Aberdeen. That's nice and done. I do need a station though. That would help. Aberdeen, build hotel, post office, restaurant, and tavern, and then do Aberdeen to, well I guess we could do Aberdeen to Dundee, but let's just do Aberdeen to, well actually let's just do both, Aberdeen to Edinburgh, we're going to want a dining car on that one, yep, uh, actually that is Uh, the gradient's alright. It's a bit iffy in places. Right, Aberdeen to Dundee. Okay. And then what about Glasgow to 
Aberdeen. It's actually not grey, so I'm not going to do that. Alright. Seems to be night again, unfortunately. Which means I can't see anything. I can't issue stock, which I can't remember if I did it for this year or not. I don't think I did. The thing is, is I forget to do it and then I forget when I can do it, so... Still a few cities to connect to. Ah, right, now I can do it. Right. Um, yeah, still a few cities I need to connect to, obviously. Uh, mainly ones in, like, Wales. Well, there's the three in Wales. But then there's also... Uh, Norwich. Nottingham. Uh, Scarborough. And then obviously, like, these ones in Scotland. Yeah, actually, there's still quite a few cities to get to. Just buy some shares in our own company, why not? Share price has just gone down simply because I issued some stock, I think. I see no other reason why it would go down, to be honest. So I don't know if it's because I lowered the food price by 50% that we're getting so many passengers, or if you just get loads of passengers in the scenario anyway. But, um... It's pretty ridiculous how much money you can make from passengers. I mean, it is the 1840s, but even so... Um... Yeah. After the last scenario where my... where I did get gold, but barely... Uh, this scenario is a very nice build. It is one of the easiest scenarios in the game. I kind of wish there was a more... I kind of wish there was a more modern British scenario, but I don't know what you would do. And I also kind of wish there was a scenario that was a bit more involved and a bit harder. I mean, the British Isles scenario uh, is 1829 to 1854. And that's an interesting and fun scenario, but at the same time, to get gold, you need personal net worth, which can be a bit of a faff. On the other hand, I have actually got gold on that one on Expert in like 10 years in the past, so... If you're lucky with personal net worth, it is an easy scenario. Because you've got to get 2,000 loads for gold. And if you look... Well, we've hauled 1390, but, um, yeah, the Firefly does make it very easy. Um... Both this scenario and um, the British Isles scenario. Anyway, um, Exeter is going to need everything, and we can do trains from Exeter to Portsmouth, maybe? Yeah. Exeter to Portsmouth. That can be a Firefly, of course. I think I've actually only got one Buth in my entire lineup. I'm not even sure where it goes. It goes from Glasgow to Edinburgh. And really, that could probably be a Firefly, because the gradient isn't that bad. It's only really round here, so... Yeah, let's make that a Firefly. So every train on my roster is actually a Firefly now. My average speed is still 13 miles an hour, that's good. I guess that's like the only really difficult bit of this scenario. Um, but even then, it's not difficult. Just use the firefly. And, you know, build fairly flat track. Yeah, unfortunately, Plymouth and um, Truro don't exactly have a lot going for them. Plymouth doesn't have a port or anything. We can do Plymouth to Portsmouth. And, uh, Truro to Portsmouth again. Oops. 
And then we still need to connect up to... Um, actually, their show price is actually starting to increase. Are they making money? They are this year, but not any other year. Maybe that's because it's a boom, I don't know. We got a share price yet again. I don't think we've actually had a, sh a pay cut yet. Every year we just keep getting a, a pay rise, which is pretty ridiculous. But then again, we have had like boom and prosperity pretty much constantly. Right, so Norwich to. Um, Birmingham, I guess. Or Northampton. No, let's do Norwich to Birmingham. Because Birmingham's quite a big city. How's traffic, actually? I've not been looking, but I think it's fine, honestly. I don't think we've got anywhere that's, like, massively congested. Also, one thing that's just occurred to me is I actually don't have that many trains coming out of London, despite the size of London. Uh, but we did just... I oh, know we've got trains going to Canterbury. I think we've got London to Canterbury, Ipswich, Cambridge, Oxford, Guildford... Presumably Birmingham. I think we've got London to pretty much all the big cities, but... Yeah, we don't have... we don't have any congestion anywhere, really. I don't know if that's more testament to my network, or... Or what? I don't know, really. Well, let's connect up to Nottingham. If I do it via North Nottingham, then I don't need a bridge, but then I'd have to do something like this. It might not be... Well, I guess that would work. But I'm thinking probably just easier to do Birmingham to Nottingham. There you go. Oops. Okay. And then get a Firefly going from Nottingham to Birmingham. And I could do Nottingham to Leeds. Leads to Birmingham quite easily. See what I did there? Smart. Because rather than having to go Leeds to Birmingham via Manchester over this bit of track, which, you know, the gradient is fine, but it's obviously a longer way, then I can just do Leeds to Birmingham like that, and then that's uh, quicker and easier because it's more direct. Okay, let's save the game. How much do I have to buy these guys out? It's not, it's not a lot. And yeah, I can always just take out loads of bombs if I get desperate for cash. Which isn't really going to happen, to be honest. Let's connect up to Cardiff. All there's really have to do now, I suppose, is just connect up all these cities. Uh, and then just buy out the AI. Ooh. A bit of a there that I accidentally created. Nothing major, but uh, a bit annoying. Right, Cardiff to Birmingham. Actually, can I do that, or is that using too much AI track? No, it doesn't use the AI track, that's fine. 
I mean, if I wanted to do like Cardiff to Gloucester or Cardiff to Bath, that Cardiff to Bath would have to use quite a bit of AI track, so that wouldn't be good. Um, but Cardiff to Birmingham, that's fine. Right, we've gone from Ignite Boom to Ignite Prosperity, that's not a problem. Probably get another boom in a bit. But to be honest, even normally Ignite Prosperity would be fine. Right, that's Pembroke. And what's in Pembroke? Not a great deal. So we can do Pembroke to Birmingham. Not hugely profitable, but uh, we may as well build hotels and stuff in these cities. They're not going to make much money, but uh, we may as well. I'm going to buy a thousand shares on the margin, and that way I've got a quarter share of their company. I suppose my ultimate aim is to get 50% share in their company, but that might not be doable. Um, or it might not be well, it'd be doable, it's just maybe not the wisest thing to do. Let's connect Scarborough up. Scarborough is now connected. Is that Cornwall? Oh wow. Okay. I wasn't sure if corn was actually a thing on this map, but uh, yes it is. There's a few corn farms. Right. Uh, I've connected up to Scarborough, so Scarborough to Leeds or Hull, or Manchester actually. Manchester to Scarborough to Manchester. Quite a long way, but should be pretty profitable. Yep. Um, right, what other cities are there to connect to? There's Hollyhead. And then there's these three up here in Scotland, and these four in Ireland, and then that's it, I believe. Besides the ones that the AI control. So let's connect whoops, up to Hollyhead. Which I can't build like that because there's a bit of water there, which is quite annoying. Um, no, I still think going to Liverpool is the best idea though. Going from Polyhead to Pembroke is quite far. No, is that not doable? It might not be doable. Let's build a tunnel or something. Hmm. These, this, this, this water is getting very annoying. Okay, I might have to do Hollyhead to Pembroke. Unfortunately. Still going to have to build a few tunnels here and there though. Huh, who knew that Hollyhead would be like the hardest place to connect to? 
so than, you know, anywhere in Scotland. Not really because of the hills, more just because of the fact that there's, like, too deep water that I can't build a suspension bridge over. Anyway, that's, um, that's Pembroke connected to. Right, not Pembroke. Um, Hollyhead connected to Pembroke. Pembroke was already connected. Right, and unsurprisingly, Hollyhead has basically nothing. But we can do Hollyhead to Pembroke. Not going to be very profitable. What's the gradient like, actually? Um, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. Holy had to Cardiff might be more profitable. Yeah, Holy had to Cardiff. But it's still a long way. Right, what's next? Uh, there's three Scottish cities, and then the four Irish ones. And I think it might be an idea to do the Irish ones first, simply because that's probably going to be easier. So, Wexford to Dublin. I say it's going to be easy, it's not going to be easy, there's still quite a bit of uh, cliffs and nasty gradients and stuff like that. Build a station in Dublin first, and then build the track later. And then, I really want the port. That works. But then I can't get the rest of the city in. Why can't I build it there? Is that too, too steep or something? Probably. Right, let's go with a time-honoured, massive amount of post office strategy. Unfortunately, I need to build the track out of Dublin and connect it to Wexford, which is not easy itself. So, um, the flattening it with the post office strategy has definitely paid off there. Unfortunately, I obviously can't connect Dublin up with the rest of, uh, you know, like I can't, I can't do, like, Dublin to Liverpool, for example, because I can't build a suspension bridge in this game, or this scenario. Um, but nonetheless, we can do Dublin to Wexford. And then we can do Dublin to Dundalk. Dundalk doesn't seem to be that big. Dundalk doesn't really have a lot going for it, but still, we can get a train going from Dublin to Dundalk. And then, 
if I build a station in Belfast, and then build the track out of Belfast to Dundalk. Then we can do Belfast to Dundalk and possibly even go past to Dublin, although I don't know. Well, let's, let's do Dublin to Belfast. And then Belfast to Dundalk. There you go. And there you go, that is the Irish line set up. It's um, only four cities, but uh, it's not bad. Save the game again. Right, so now there's only three cities left and they're all in Scotland, and then I can just buy the AI out and then we are basically done with the scenario. So, shouldn't be too difficult. Connect up to Fort William first, and then once I get to Fort William, then I can get to Inverness probably quite easily. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of. Uh, water here, which I can't build over because I can't build a suspension bridge. Ah. There's no way, there's no way through here. I think there would be, but... Because I managed to get, like, almost halfway across. Oh dear. Nearly available. This might be a beauty spot. Although the gradient so far isn't nothing is nothing that the firefly can't handle. Okay, it might be an idea to stop building track, build the station first in Fort William. Unfortunately, there's going to have to be a large station. And then... I forgot to say, I still can't get these up because of it. Invisible water there. There you go. Right, Fort William is almost certainly going to have nothing going for it, but we can get a train going from Fort William to Air. And actually, that makes a lot of money hauling clothes. Where are these clothes made anyway? Oh, they're made in Inverness. Oh, right, okay. So Inverness to Air could be pretty profitable then. Right. Do I need a Buth for that, or can a Firefly make... I reckon a Firefly should be okay for that. There's nothing obscene, gradient-wise. But do we do Fort William to Air, or do we do to Glasgow? Glasgow actually seems better. Although we make more money hauling the clothes to Air. Um let's do let's do to air. A lot of passengers in air, but they all want to go to Ireland. Which is really unfortunate. Because obviously I can't deliver them. Right, let's do um Fort William to Air. Is there anything in Glasgow that we can deliver to Fort William, mind you?
No, not really. Right, let's try and do Fort William to Inverness. Oh no. They won't let me because I can't build track along the lot of that. Ah oh, dear. Okay, I might have to do Aberdeen to Inverness instead. Is that really not doable as well? Right, okay, new plan. Aberdeen to Inverness. We'll go along this way instead. Because I didn't realise that there'd be a lot of water and stuff there. I just saw it and thought, oh yeah, this is nice and flat. Not realising that there's a whole load of water around here. And, uh... Okay. Not to worry. This isn't too vibrating. Right, let's build a station in Inverness. Something like that. There you go. And now all I've got to do is connect up to Thurso, and then that's every city on the map connected. Not necessarily the most efficiently, but it's connected nonetheless. So Aberdeen, sorry, Inverness to Dundee, or Inverness to Aberdeen? I think Dundee, honestly. Yeah, Inverness to Dundee. And, uh, Gradient is not terrible. So, Inverness to Dundee. And we are actually going to get a train going from Aberdeen to, um, Inverness anyway. It doesn't give me the ledger yet, there you go. It does now. And now we've got the first pay cuts, even though we made 7.89 million in profit. Oh, current average speed is now 14 miles an hour. Yeah. It's not very fast, but, um, you know, certainly fast enough. And things like these fireflies going from, like, Aberdeen to Inverness on, like... Well, okay, the gradient isn't helping, but... You know, just long stretches of track will help the average speed. Right, let's see if we can't get Inverness to Thurso. Is there really no way from Inverness to Port William? Well, never mind. It is what it is, I suppose. He's just led to this through. Yeah, let's just tunnel through. And where is... there it is. I was about to say where's Thurso, but uh, I found it nonetheless. Ooh. That house is being quite annoying, actually. Sort of getting in the way a bit. It's quite hard to actually get a gradient that's decent coming into a tunnel or out of a tunnel in this game. In the tunnel it's fine, but uh, in and out of the tunnel it tends to be, you know, pretty steep gradient for some reason. Okay, that's the so with 300,000 bonus. 
We can literally get away with a small station. Economy slowing to normal, that's not a problem. Right, Thurso to Inverness. Right, Firefly. The well, troops are apparently a thing on this map now, although there are no loads of troops. And weapons are actually become a thing as well, although there are no loads of weapons either. It must be because it's 1848, and I think that's the earliest dates that weapons factories can become a thing. Uh, there are actually not that many passengers. I thought there'd be like close to a thousand loads with the amount that we're delivering, but uh, I guess there's not many cities on the map. Overall. Right, well we can't issue stock, but that is every city on the map connected as far as I can tell. I don't think I'm missing any. Yeah, we've got Carlisle. Um, no, besides the AI, I don't think there are any other cities that I need to connect to. Um, yeah, it's not a difficult challenge really to connect to every city. The only difficult ones really are the ones in Scotland. Um, although saying that, Edinburgh is not difficult to connect to. Dumfries, Carlisle. Carlisle's in England, I'm just saying. The hardest ones to connect to were probably Fort William, Inverness, and Thurso. But they weren't terrible to connect to. Alright, well let's save the game. And, um, buy these guys out. Let's pay, let's try three million. Should work. Actually, mm. let's try 2.9 million. There you go. Merger succeeds 13,000 to 7,000. Liverpool and Manchester takes over Bath Northern. Brilliant. Uh, we can get rid of this. And then that should be gold as soon as I basically unpause the game. And it's only taken us. Eight and a third years, and I could have done it after like five and a half years, but obviously I wanted to connect every city on the map. Um, yeah, upgrade the Adlers to Fireflies. So they've got a train going from Oxford to Gloucester, and Guildford to Ipswich for some reason. Why the heck have they got a train going from Guildford to Ipswich when that's like basically all my track? I don't know. That didn't need to be a large station, I'm just upgrading it anyway. Can't upgrade that to a large station, unfortunately. Oxford. That can be a large station, that's fine. Right. Save the game once again. And then that should be gold as soon as I am four, pretty much. Unless I've got to wait till the end of the year or something. Nope! There you go. Tis the gold you shall receive, and presented by the Queen, no less. The greatest industrial power of the age has given the world another wonder. Yes, we continue playing, just temporarily, just save the game. And there you go. Flying Scotsman, gold, in just under eight and a half years. It's not difficult. I could have got gold in five and a half years. Um, but obviously I wanted to connect every city on the map. And I did, and uh, I don't know why Brunel never founded a company, but he never did, so this guy technically has enough money to found another company, but there's no point, because there's no cities left to connect to. And uh, we can actually buy 5,000 shares in our own company. There you go, that's about 16,000 or 11,000 shares in our companies have bought. Uh, we have... 48,000 or 746,000 shares in our company, I don't know what percentage that is. Um, it's... Yeah, something. 
Uh, less than ten percent, more than five percent, about seven percent share in our company. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Which for Railroad Tycoon Three, if it's a campaign video, then that is Crossing the Alps, which is not that difficult. It's a slow start, but once it gets going, it really gets going. Um, if I do a scenario, then obviously I don't know what that will be. And um, Zoo Tycoon next scenario after Return to the Dinosaur Island Research Lab. Next scenario is uh, breeding the T-Rex. Take care, folks. Have a nice day. Bye bye.